Hey everybody, Brom Rooney here from MicRacingMachine.com with an exclusive look at Microsoft's new operating system, Windows 7. And by exclusive, I mean there's probably a thousand other videos on YouTube just like this, highlighting the features and benefits that Windows 7 offers. But we're going to be doing something different from the other folks. We're going to look at the pros and cons of Windows 7. And yes, there are some. And we're going to be looking at the million dollar question. Should I upgrade? And is it worth your while, worth your time, and worth your money to do so? Okay, so let's take a look at Windows 7's new interface. First of all, let me close this off. The marketing guys forced me to put this here. And when you first start up Windows 7, you'll notice it has the look and feel of a different operating system. And, you know, in today's uh, advanced technology, Windows can run Mac, Mac can run PCs. And, you know, I think Microsoft has just really outdone themselves this time and taken the best from both worlds and incorporated it into a functional, easy to use, and fast operating system. And I'm going to show you some of the features and benefits that Windows 7 has to offer. Okay, so here we are in Windows 7's new desktop. XP users will find it looking a little bit different, but, uh, you know, I've been an XP user for since it came out and i was reluctant to move up to uh vista and uh good thing i didn't because you know after the vista debacle where drivers were not operating uh there were a lot of uh, incompatibility issues vista users will find that there are some similarities between vista and windows 7 only because windows 7 runs on the vista core and what that means for uh, Vista users is that in the two-year time span, Microsoft has had time to get their ducks in a row and get their uh, uh, stuff together. So you'll find that uh, the problems you had in Vista are no longer uh, present in Windows 7. This might be, uh, you know, some of the nagging security warnings that came up and uh, they were really annoying and a lot of the hardware and software incompatibility issues have all been fixed in Windows 7 and the overall uh, speed and efficiency of Windows 7 will just have your head spinning and let's go over some of those features right now one of the most improved features of Windows 7 I think is the search field function you no longer have to go through your uh, start button search and then look for files that you can't find the search button comes prepared here and it really helps you become more efficient and helps the workflow of uh, whatever you're using it for so for instance I'm, I want to do a system restore so I type in uh, the system restore and right away Windows goes through and immediately gives me options and I could just click on that and it'll give me uh, my system restore button uh, this is this is just a great market improvement that uh, Windows 7 has incorporated into their operating system and it's going to improve your uh, workflow and efficiency really well so I would really uh, go ahead and use this instead of searching for your files. Windows will just pop it up in a second. Now another feature that's new in Windows 7 is the system tray. Check that out. The icons are a lot larger and what they do, they have a lot more functionality to improve your workflow while you're working in Windows 7. For example, I'm scrolling over my uh, Firefox menu here. What pops up is a floating window that shows a minimized view of the page that you have open on top it'll show you a brief description of uh, what the site is about secondly you have if you right click on any of these icons uh, it will show you a jump list now a jump list is a memory log of recent projects that you've worked on in any application that you can easily find by clicking and uh, loading it up Besides that, you have the option of moving these icons around in your system tray, which is something something neat. And I wish this would have been uh, a part of uh, you know Windows Vista or Windows XP. 
Now, just quickly flying by some of the other cool gadgets in uh, Windows 7 that uh, was also present in uh, Vista, you can right-click and customize gadgets. These are cool little things that you can put on your desktop. For example, I have my Chicago, Illinois weather uh, gadget here. But you can go to uh, Get More Gadgets, click on that, and you'll see it takes you to the Microsoft uh, Personalization Gallery. And what you'll do is the desktop gadgets, and you can see there's over 3,000 different gadgets that, that's made both by Microsoft and third-party uh, vendors. So there's some uh, really nifty stuff here, and it's, it's similar to an iPhone app downloading that. You just download it and place it on your uh, desktop. So I'm going to close that. Uh, another thing that you can do is personalize your uh, desktop themes. You'll find uh, over here, there's uh, some presets that come with uh, Windows 7, but you can always go to get more themes online. It'll take you to the Microsoft site, and there's, again, hundreds and hundreds of different themes uh, on here that you can really customize your desktop to get the look and feel that you are personalized to. One of the other great features of Windows 7 is the way it handles opening multiple windows so for example I have here in Firefox two documents and I want to open up this one bring it here and I also want to open up this one here so I have two documents here and I want to compare them side by side and see you know what's what's where can I get this garden gnome for the cheapest price so what I can do is drag this window by the handle to the left and it automatically resizes that check that out grab this one here drag it to the right and you can compare these two documents side by side and see where uh, you can get the best deal on garden gnomes and you know this is really great for when you're doing uh, word documents or if you're copying your thesis from uh, another document it's you know it's just the way to go and another great feature is you can click on the bar here for the main document that you're working on. Do a left and right shake. Gets rid of everything else in the background and keeps this one in front. So this is one feature which I use a lot and it's really handy. And, you know, it just, it just saves time and uh, resources and helps you become more productive. Another cool feature that I'm just going to cover quickly is the parental feature. Type in parental. You'll see immediately it populates with uh, options. I'm going to hit that. You can actually control what your uh, children or people you don't want accessing your computer to uh, watch or what they access. So I'm going to pick Kremlins here, which is my uh, imaginary kids. Go ahead and close that. You can set time limits for when each user is allowed to use or have access to your computer. Gonna close that. You can access uh, or set permissions for games and specific programs. So I'm going to close that real quick. And another feature that I just wanted to quickly cover is Microsoft Paint. Okay, just like uh, uh, Microsoft, uh, this is similar in Vista, just like Microsoft Paint in Word, you'll see it has a new ribbon interface with a few added features that are not available in uh, uh, Microsoft XP. I'm going to close that, and finally, don't save, no. I'm going to go to the snipping tool, which is a really cool feature if you have ever used uh, grab it or snag it uh, it'll load this and you can you know just drag and copy any portion of your screen and it'll save it as a JPEG file which this really comes in handy if you want to do screen grabs of anything or anything of that sort this is this is a really cool cool option